Welcome. My name is George Pearson, and I run the How To Gurus channel here on YouTube. Most of the videos in my channel are short demonstrations of the different tools and techniques you'll find in various software programs. Right now, I have several hundred of these quick videos available on YouTube. This video, though, is different. This is part of a new series of longer demonstrations that I'm doing to show you how to complete complex projects from start to finish using a variety of techniques and tools. All of the images I use in these projects are in the public domain and I've included a link to the pictures in the video description in case you want to work along using the same images. Okay, let's move on to the project. In this Photoshop project we're going to be doing a bright headlight effect, kind of a graphic novel look in here. Now to make the headlights really work you have to have darkness around them. It has to look as if it's a nighttime scene to give the proper effect. I'll be putting in some other color coloration in here and so forth as well. Let's look at the original. Here's our original. It's a daytime shot as you can see. This is a car sitting in an alleyway here. And we're going to do a couple of things. We have the bright headlights, we have some coloration, and we're doing a hard lighting effect on this as well. Kind of three things going on. Let's examine the basic elements on the right hand side then we'll go and recreate that on this original image. Okay, our basic elements we have two copies of the car. Let me just hide everything in here. Here we go, two copies of the car. First copy right here and then a second one on top and on this one we are doing a color burn of the image onto itself and that gives us part of that hard lighting effect right there. We're then coming in and putting in some coloration. You see I have kind of a light bluish purple down in here, a little bit of a more of a blue color in there, and then some more purple blue stuff in the background. All of this is on a very transparent layer. The layer itself of course has a full transparency but we're using a transparent color in here, just you know, painting it in with a bit of transparency to blend in nicely and then also using a blending mode as well on top of that. Now above that we have a basic glow in here on our headlights and that's just white painted on top of the headlights to give them a basic glow. Above that we have an additional layer in here. See it's just a secondary layer of those headlights. In this case they are being blended down to the other layer with soft light. That gives more of a glowing effect on those. So with those two white layers that gives us a nice glow. And then finally to bring those into the color scheme for the whole picture we put in a bluish purplish glow on top of those and again do a blending mode on that. So there's a lot of blending mode stuff going on in here to blend all of these different layers together. Okay let's go ahead and start this. We'll be going back and forth. I'll be coming back to this one and, and showing you what we'll be doing and then we'll do that over here so it'll be easy to follow what this demonstration is. The first thing we need to do of course is to make a copy of this layer. So just take your layer, drag it down to the new layer button and make a copy just like that. Real easy. Now as you can see down here we're actually blending this layer into that background layer using the blending modes up here, in this case the color burn blending mode. It, it enriches the colors on that particular layer. Okay, let's go back over here. Easy step, just click on your layer, come up here to your blending modes. Now you can do a lot of stuff with blending modes. I'm going to just use the wheel on my mouse and roll through these. So you can see a few, there's multiply. Multiply, by the way, is a very good one to use if you just want to add back in color into a washed out picture. Color burn, that's what we're going to be using. Linear burn, darker color, lighten, screen. And I'll just roll through here and you can see all kinds of different effects that can be achieved in here by simply blending a picture back into itself. Okay, let's go ahead and go back and we're going to be using the color burn right there. And that's going to give us a high contrast hard lighting effect 
on this. The next thing we want to do is we want to put in some coloration. We want to give this a bluish purplish coloration to give us that nighttime effect. We'll be doing color down here, some color across the bumper here, a couple of different colors across the bumper, some color in the window in here, and then some color in the background up in there. If you look at just that color layer, let me just hide everything else. Just that layer, you can see it's mostly this kind of light purplish in here. And I did a little more of a blue color right in there just for some variation on the bumper. Now to do this, we'll be using the paintbrush real soft setting and a real low setting on that as well, real low visibility. So let's make a new layer here. We'll grab our paintbrush and we'll come and find a nice color in here. Maybe that one. Yeah, as long as it's a cool color, that's all that matters. You can choose any color you want for that. Also, maybe I think this one right here looks pretty good this time. I think I used that one last time. I think I'll use this one this time. And then it's grab our paintbrush, and I I want a very large sized brush. And just bring that up. Too big. That's pretty good and you want hard to set at zero. Now we also want to bring the opacity way down on this. Bring it way down here to about 30 or so. That will give us a transparent color. Now along with that, if we go back here to our original and bring our images back in, you can see that we're also doing a linear burn on this. So we're not just putting the color in normally, which would look like that, but we're coming in and we are burning that color in with a linear burn. That just sets it into the light areas and doesn't do anything on the dark areas. So to get the real effect, let's go ahead and set this at linear burn. And we then can come in and just kind of paint in like that, putting in some of those colors. And it's back in the background here. I'll leave a bit of lightness on the top of the car. And if you want to put in some variation, you can go ahead and do that. Just choose a, a little bit of a different color. Let's go for more of a purplish color in here, and I'll put in a little bit of purples in just to add some variation in our colors in there. A couple of uh, tups in there. And that gives us that nice effect. Now you can adjust the amount of color in here if you want to by bringing down your opacity. So you have some control on how much color you have. I'm making this a little more colorful this time than I did on this one. I'm just, just in the mood for more color this time. So again, you can adjust your opacity in there to get it just where you want. But that gives us the, the cool color is gives us kind of that nighttime feel. Now we need to do something about these headlights. So we want to have white. I'll put these back to the original colors and white. Let's make a new layer right there. And I'm going to bring down the brush size. We want to stay on, on real soft. Let's bring the brush size down so it's about the same size as the headlight. Just a little more. Okay, that's the size of the headlight. Opacity is still at 33, so I can adjust that. I'm starting off with just four taps. And we'll see how that looks. Let's get in there. Let's do some more. Do four there again. Just building up that brightness. Okay, so there's just the basic headlight. Now to really advance on this, if we take a look at our layer over here, we have two headlight layers. The first one is just the headlights as we just did, and then the second one is a copy with soft light. So we're going to take this headlight, I'm going to rename this one headlight. There we go. Let's copy the layer. 
That gives us two of those, but it's too bright at this point. So you want to bring that down a little bit by doing a soft light overlay. There we go. So we have the brightness and we're seeing some of the glass effect through that. So it looks as if we have our headlights on. But you want to be able to see some of that headlight glass showing through. And that's what that soft light helps do for us. Now if you feel it's too bright, you can again adjust that by adjusting your opacity here and then bring back your soft light level. So do your adjustments on the one that's underneath, the one that is, is full strength to have just the right effect. But for a more of a cartoony look, you want to have it a little brighter as opposed to a little softer. The last thing we want to do is you want to then give this a bluish glow to help blend this into the color of the rest of our pictures. You can see that again over here right there kind of a blue glow right over the top of those so let's do one more layer in here and make a new layer and let's change our colors in here to a nice a nice blue maybe about like that and I'm just going to paint over the top here right there and let's do a little bit more over here remember we're working with a 33 percent opacity on this so you may have to come back in and do it a couple of times to get a good rich color but it still has transparency to it we now want to just do the coloration into our headlights. So again, we'll be doing a blending mode on this. And this time we're going to be lightening that. And there we go. The lightning brings all the light stuff through and then leaves that on the darker areas in behind, giving us that coloration. If you have too much on that, again, you can come in and adjust that a little bit with your opacity setting to help blend that into your final picture. But there we go. That's how to do headlights. Again, the Aside from all this blending mode stuff, the real trick is you want to darken down your image so that the headlights stand out brighter in comparison to the image. That is that is what gives you that, that light look. You have to have the contrast between the bright whites and the dark surround for them to look like they are glowing. All the rest of this is just coloration making the image a little more interesting. But if I take out the blues, notice by taking out the blue tones, which gives us that nighttime feel, it looks like it's daytime all of a sudden. So we have the bright lights, that's working, but it doesn't have that nighttime feel because the blue glow gives us that nighttime effect. So we are pushing into the cool colors and then brightening up the headlights. So there we go. That is how to do headlights. And again, we did two things here. We did our bright headlights and we also did a hard light effect. Let me show you another way you can do your coloration. This is kind of a hand-drawn coloration allowing me to do some changes and stuff in here. But you can do it a different way as well. It's another approach to colorizing this. And that's using what's called a gradient map. I'm going to just hide that color layer, leave everything else as is. And we're sitting on the top car layer here. And then if you click on this little icon right there, the bottom of your layers menu, we have gradient map bring that up and this applies a gradient map onto your image it actually takes the image and applies it to a gradient and there are all kinds of different ways of approaching this thing different gradients that you can use now the top section these are all of your standard gradients in here let me just do a few of these you can see some of these strange effects that you can get with this real fun stuff but not really useful for what we want but down here these are toning filters and if you click on the little gear icon let me see if I can get that up where we can see that I'll bring it right to the top up here there we go and right here we have photographic toning and that's what all these are and these are specialty gradients that give you photographic style color variations let me just do that one and let's reverse that so there's a blue look using this 
gradient map, and it just, this applies it to the whole picture, as you can see there. As we get down below here, the, we have multiple colors in here. Different kinds of color blending with multiple colors, which is kind of interesting. And some of these are really nice, and depending upon which one you choose, you may find just the look that you want. So what it does is it takes the gradient right there, it's going from a black through a brown to a blue to a white, and it's applying that to the image based upon the values in the image. So the white is, anything in the image that's white is white, and that's light is blue. Midtones are into your browns, and then blacks are staying as black. So then it's just a matter of going through these different toning filters in here until you find one that has a color variation that you think matches your image well. I kind of like these two-tone things in here. And that looks pretty good. That's a bit too blue, maybe. Maybe I'll use that one. There we go. So we're colorizing it now. It's doing the whole thing for us without coming in and actually painting in colors. It's a little bit of a different effect. We're not getting the darkness up here that I like happening. So you might want to do you know, some of this kind of stuff up there to darken the sky down. But it gives you some nice toning. You can also control this by adjusting your opacity. The lower the opacity, the less of that effect is in there. So if I wanted to do this one, I might keep all this stuff, put another layer above that, come in here with one of my brushes to say that, that blue color that we're using, and let's make our, our brush size larger. There we go. And I'm just going to do some of the stuff in the back up here and a little bit in the window. Tone those down, leave the foreground colors done by our gradient map. And then just like we did up here, we'll do a linear burn on that to blend that in right there with the background. So a combination of those two gives you a little more interesting look. It's just another approach, another one of the tools you can use if you want to, to colorize your image. So that is the gradient map. And again, that's off that little icon right down there and gradient map. A lot of fun to play with. I'll just put this back to our basic look right there. Okay, so there we go. That's how to create that hard light and the headlight effect. Thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. Just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this training video.